the one reason that journalists were part of that screening and have uh, viewed that footage so that you don't have to because some of those footage are extremely jarring and heartbreaking and there's a reason that Israel is not uh, putting it out in domain because it could also result in exactly what Hamas would want as a propaganda warfare too. Shivaru now joins me because he was for those 45 minutes watching that raw unedited footage which was clearly disturbing as the conversation that I had with him. Shiv, but why do you think because we've earlier seen the bloodied cribs the aftermath of the houses in the neighborhood. Why should the world know more about these images for coming in from Israel? You know, no matter uh, uh, how much war reporting one does and how much conflict reporting one does, how much death and destruction one, uh, you know, watches in the flesh, uh, you know, uh, being witness to something like this, uh, even if it's on screen, uh, is uh, truly a, an unnumbing experience. Uh, and this was, uh, you know, visceral violence of the worst kind because this was real. Uh, it, 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 it had a movie-like quality. It had a video game-like quality, uh, the kind of senseless killing. Uh, but this was very, very real, and I needed to remind myself of that, uh, you know, through the entire 43 minutes. Uh, this was body cam footage. This was uh, CCTV footage, traffic cameras, uh, you know, mobile phones of victims and the terrorists. Uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, as far as public sentiment in Israel is concerned, there's a good reason why this footage hasn't been made public, even though the IDF did tell me that they plan to, uh, you know, put this footage out into the United Nations. Uh, but I think there is an angry bewilderment, like I said in my piece and in my story, uh, about why the international community appears to be distracted from what really triggered this whole thing. The hostage crisis, uh, you know, the massacre on October the 7th. Uh, there is a political narrative that Israel continues to be quite suspicious of uh, that is focused on the crisis in Gaza. There is no doubt a crisis in Gaza, but, uh, uh, you know, there is, a, there is an increasing sentiment here that that, 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 you know, people in the international community, the stakeholders in multilateral organizations are focusing singularly on that and not on where it all started, which was the massacre of 1,400 people uh, and this hostage crisis. You know, I'm standing here uh, in Tel Aviv amidst relatives and friends of many of those hostages, and there is anger here as well about how that narrative is shifting. And I think that's the reason why Israel, the defense forces here, decided they wanted to show at least some of that footage out in public. So I I was one among the journalists who actually put that story out. All right, W. Shet, you're joining us, Shiv, and uh, looking forward to more of your coverage. So much of that footage, possibly slowly, steadily, will be put into the world. But for now, remember, there was complete horror on innocent civilians in the neighborhood. India's number one political reporter. Defines what seems to be happening, vendetta politics. Unmatched eye. Unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's 100% news that matters, it's News Today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Only on India Today TV.